The Cora girls, for the first time in the second year of a sanctioned tournament, mm -hmm. taking home that tallest trophy, uh, Coach Adams. You've touched on the fact that this has been a true team from the get-go this year. Did this weekend really uh, solidify that? Sure did. I mean, we brought nine girls down here, all working together, all working together towards uh, one common goal. And uh, out of all nine of our girls, they all contributed. Everyone helps uh, secure some team points for the team title. 21 pins, two major decisions, 44, uh, well, let's see the math. Four, that's uh, 44 bonus points. Uh, how, how do you uh, create the mentality to emphasize that so much? Well, we try to emphasize, I mean, that like, you got to keep scoring and it's, it's, it's just keeping constant pressure on your opponent. And, and when we just keep grinding and, and, and high tempo and in your face, girls break. And then so we just have to capitalize and keep scoring points and, and things that we might not get in the first period, we just keep that pressure on and, and things then work out for us in the end of the second or third period. And you had the lead going into today. You've been around wrestling uh, pretty much your entire life. You know tournaments are won on the backside of the tournament. You had a couple of disappointments last night in the quarterfinals. Talk about the ability to rebound and uh, especially with uh, Lauren Luzum, Cameron Steinis to we rebound, get bonus points and cleave climbing on the backside of the tournament. How important was this afternoon in securing that title? Well, first, I, I, I think uh, over the two days, the message stayed the same, that all nine girls had to stay in the tournament as long as they could. Uh, they can never be content with where they are at. So if they knew they were going to be on the podium, how high on the podium can you get? You know, that, that really every match mattered and, and every point mattered. Um, and so you know, winning day one, you know, no trophies given out on day one. And then so we had to win day two and it all starts with how, the, how we come in and, and uh, get a nice warm up and, and start yelling. And, and this morning it was Chloe Sheffield. You know, she was the spark plug that got the day going. And, uh, you know, feelings and emotions like that are contagious. And it, the rest of the team wants to start replicating that. And, and we had some huge, huge victories that, that offset those maybe last night disappointments. And I know KJ Pilcher tweeted about it after Chloe's win in the semifinals. Uh, heard she was greeted by Naomi who carried her back to the team <laughs> camp. Uh, how cool of a moment was that? <laughs> yeah. Chloe and Naomi doing Chloe and Naomi things. You know, uh, they're, they're close. They do a lot of things, uh, you know, in wrestling, but outside of the, the wrestling room and everything, and they're just really close. And it's just um, they, you know, they after a match they get together and they they kind of massage the, the muscles out a bit, and it's it's kind of their routine. And it's, just, it's that closeness that you like to see. We've seen these girls and what they can do on the mat. Uh, you see them in practice every day. You've gotten to know them as people. Other than what they're doing on the mat, what makes this a special group? Well, they're, they're just, they're good kids. Uh, I mean, they're, they're strong in the classroom. They're, they're multi-sport athletes. They're, they're busy. You know, we got girls that have to take off or practice here because they're working on their speech or they're, they're in the school play. You know, the, all important things. And, and, and like, I keep telling them, like, you know, don't be sorry that you might have to miss a practice or this here and there because that's part of your high school experience is to be part of those activities as well. Um, which then I just, I think there's a trust there that, uh, you know, when it comes to wrestling, they know that, uh, that they, I care about them outside of the wrestling room and just as much as when they're in the wrestling room. You uh, took over as the head coach uh, this year. What has this group meant to you personally? Oh, geez. I, I, tell, <laughs> I tell them, you know, about my emotional roller coaster, but um, I'm emotionally invested in everyone. Yeah. Um, so it's like when they hurt, I hurt. You know, when they're happy, I'm happy for them. And I'm just there, but uh, just, I don't know how to say it any different. I mean, I'm emotionally invested in every one of them and I care so much about how they do and uh, try to be there when, when things are low and I can help celebrate when things are going good. And speaking with celebration to point out, obviously one individual was a big story tonight. Naomi Simon, 130 and 0, getting the job done, a four-time state champion, historic moment for Iowa high school wrestling. Take us through what you were going through. Well, I just, I, you know, my, my thoughts were just like on her journey. Like, uh, you know, what you do physically, but just mentally, just mentally, I always, you know, that's always on the back of your mind that, that, that this is what I'm trying to do. And I'm sure as you're going through it, one match at a time in your career just 
almost like like uh, ticking seconds on a clock, you know, and, and so for her to kind of see that sense of relief when it was kind of like done and it happened and she did it, it was, it was just amazing. And I just, uh, the, the vision of watching her take like a little lap around and just enjoy the moment because she's, she's never going to have it again. Never that moment is going to be the same as what it was tonight. All right, uh, Gene, congrats on a great weekend. Congrats on the championship. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Viking strong.